This is one of the last pieces remaining, not only of the artwork of Hiba Zakut, but of the artist herself. Killed with her two sons in an Israeli bombardment on Gaza in mid-October, her house struck, her studio gone, her legacy remembered here at the Palestinian Museum in Ramallah. Will Hiba's art be for sale? No. Because some of the things are, are priceless at those moments. Some of those artworks are beyond being in a private collection. It's a national treasure. A month before the war, Hiba asked to bring her paintings home. She dreamt of having an exhibition abroad. Now her last pieces join more than 300 artworks at the Palestinian Museum, all by Gazan artists. Called This Is Not An Exhibition, items were collected from local galleries in the occupied West Bank, also from people's living rooms. An attempt to preserve Gaza's rich art scene now being wiped out. It's a space to protest, organizers say. Artist Mohammed Samhouri shared his own paintings and some others from his collection. When the war ends, we'll cry together. But now we need to paint and survive. Some artists are painting now from the street they've been displaced to. We'll cry, but we will then start painting life, oranges, nature and laughter. Nothing about this exhibition is traditional or neat. Prominent artists work placed next to younger artists. It's a reminder that they're all one under Israeli bombardment. Most are displaced in similar tents next to one another. <laughs> Dina Matar has vivid memories of her visit to her destroyed home. Now displaced to Rafah, she's still alive, but her memories are in ruins. Because of the canvas and the wood, unfortunately, they have used a lot of her work to be burnt, to warm themselves in such a miserable condition. Diverse in nature, color and meaning, behind every piece is a story of hope and pain, with the Israeli military occupation front and center. Some spaces on the wall are waiting to be filled with more paintings, a chance to take part in collective grief and remembrance. I think they are stubborn. They refuse to die, and certainly they refuse to die quietly. Four artists participating in this exhibition were killed during this war on Gaza. Many other artists the museum could not even reach. An open exhibition only to be closed after the war ends. As it drags on, many warn these paintings may be the only survivors of Gaza's art. Nida Ibrahim Al Jazeera, The Occupied West Bank.